Game's really trying to make me feel bad about leaving one Pikmin behind. Meanwhile, I'll go into a fight and lose like 30 Pikmin in a fight. All right. Time to just go and grab one thing in this one, I guess. I guess there's a bunch of pots up where the gun guy was that I could uh, bust open and see what they got in them. Crashes back down and becomes fluffy. Who becomes fluffy? Oh, you mean that Olimar does and becomes a leafy guy? I get it, yeah. I, we still have to figure out exactly how that happens. I guess he did say that he tried to leave the planet and then Moss started uh, acting weird the same way that Ochi did. All right, let's go deal with this stupid spider. You're the only reason I didn't get everything done in the la in the day yesterday. All right, there we go. That should all be taken care of now. Now we'll take the fan and just bust these pots over here. let go of the button just a, a fraction too too early nothing useless it's funny that they have a, f a fan here I guess it puts me up actually I think that's there for the main game because I think there were some like Mac is it macaroons or macrons? They're both they're two different things, aren't they? I don't know, I'm not fancy enough to know the difference. <laughs> they really were. Look at that. The dolphin pristine shing glimmering beautiful. Perfect. I've done it. I've done it. The SS Dolphin is fully repaired. Finally, I'll be able to escape this planet. Oh, that's what he thinks. The time has come to head home. I'm going back to Hokotate. Back to my family. Oh, they just end the day on you automatically when you get it. The teary goodbye to the Pikmin. Nyaw. <laughs> Is he not going to try and bring moss? I thought he tries to take moss. And now moss is just missing. The poor Pikmin. It, yeah, there were a lot of uh, similarities between this and Pikmin 1. What's up, system error? Mosses? Yeah, the dog, the dog makes wrangling the Pikmin much easier. Uh, my girlfriend's currently playing through Pikmin 1. She's having, <laughs> she's having a bear of a time wrangling them sometimes. If one gets stuck, she's like, ah, screw it, you're, <laughs> you're too dumb to live anyway, and then she just leaves them. <laughs> She only goes back if there's like five or six of them that's stuck. If it's just like one or two, she's like, you're not worth it. <laughs> you're not worth the effort. The takeoff was a success, but as I exited the planet's atmosphere, I realized that Moss had snuck onto the ship and she was clearly suffering. I rushed to turn the ship around and tried to land. But at that very moment, my life support system failed. This is like the bad ending of Pikmin 1, isn't it? And then that and then he got leafified. Okay, so it wasn't anybody specifically that did it. They did it to save him. I feel like there's still story bits missing here. 
Repairs complete. Single player playtime. Oh, there's two player playtime. Interesting. I wonder what that entails. Or is that just the people throwing? Oh yes, cat. That's Bob. He uh, he's a he's a regular on the channel. <laughs> He, he tends to, to show up often. <laughs> More interested in the cat. Bob is very interesting. Gotta, gotta love the boy. Oh, they give you a whole breakdown of everything. That's interesting. I don't think I personally care to go through everything. Hello, Bob. Gonna make yourself cozy? I currently have... We have two cats. And then we're we're watching over a third, but I think she's heading back home. We've been watching over one for like almost a year now, but I think she's actually going home in a couple of days. She's sleeping on a, a chair over that way. But Bob, Bob's my cat. He <laughs> and he's attached to me. Uh, anytime I sit on the couch within th 10 seconds, he's he's laying on me. Hello there. Hello there. So that's the story of how I was pulled back to this planet, and how I lost my life support systems and woke up as a leafling. No. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to the entire harrowing tale. Thanks to you, I've been able to remember so much. When I first became a leafling, I remember seeing a very interesting looking cave. It must be around here somewhere. Oh look, the cave tucked away in the corner over there. I wonder if this is the cave he was talking about. While Olimar was recounting his adventures, I spotted the entrance to a cave right here. For whatever reason, our radar never picked up on it. That must be why we didn't know it existed until now. What could be inside? Alright, so we're gonna head inside. I, I've heard that these are, are uh, a challenge. And I'm not one to back down from a challenge. I still have, um, not the onion. I still have an area to explore, like the final area, I think. I took a closer look at the SOS signal, saw the rest of the castaways are in the area we uncovered. They're still looking for the veter Hello? veterinarian. The Primordial Thicket. I think this is the last area of the game. There's 89 treasures there, geez. I think I'm going to do that area last, though. I think I'm going to figure out this cave first. But I do also have some night expeditions to do. So maybe I should do those first. If the medicine doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. I think I, yeah. I've got the giant's hearth. Oh, there's only two here. Interesting. I'll get those out of the way then. Clean those bad boys up. And then we'll head into that cave. I love, I love that emote. That's Bob. <laughs> he used to be a bit more disruptive on my streams. Uh, when I first started streaming, he would knock over my camera. Uh, he would lay down on my, my keyboard. Pikmin will perish in an instant if they touch its body. Oh, the smoky prog. Ugh. That's the thing that comes from the giant egg if I don't crack it, right? If I find those, I'm going to have to kill them. <laughs> One thing that you might find interesting, I think my bot can do, is if you do the villager emote, the H-R-R-R-R one, uh, you get a, you'll get a sound effect from my bot. And then you could put a bunch of them in one message and get multiple sound effects. It's great. Huh? Yeah, it's, I love it. It's probably one of my favorite things I've, I've put on my bot. All right, so we got two nulls here. The enemies are already becoming hostile. The day just started. Or the night did. Okay, that's useful that I can just blast them. 
The only ones that are hostile are far away for the moment, so I don't need to worry about them. Okay. These guys I can kill with just a, a charge, which makes that nice and easy. Okay, they're still slowly working their way towards the luminal over there. I don't like that fire guy being right there. That's awfully close. But let's head over here and get on the defensive. Can I get a, a, a bowling strike here? Get both of them in one charge? Yeah, I can. That is Emperor of All Blacks. I just want to make that clear that freaking Emperor of All Blacks is here. Could you kill him, please? Thank you. Why is Emperor Bulblax here? Can you explain? <laughs> okay, he died real quickly though, so that's at least that part's nice. I'm in danger. I, you know, I feel like I am. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies, and uh, uh, I can only move so quickly. They're heading that way. Let's take out these two guys before they can get there. Bowling strike, go! Got it. All right, let's take out the bull bear here. Big guy first. Little guy next. I'm gonna go get the fiery guy. I think he I think the fiery one's getting too close for my comfort. Leave it alone. Back to the other one. Go! Bye. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm taking damage, but it should be fine. Alright. Under- everything's under control. We got this. I don't know why anybody was panicking. I think that's another ball blacks over there, isn't it? All right, then hit him, take him out. Easy, as long as he does that attack. Easy peasy. I think that's everybody. Where's the challenge? I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. Imagine they send out like an Empress Wallblax in one of these night expeditions. Could she even move? Does she even have like a walking animation to move from one area to the next? Or is she only capable of rolling to wherever she needs to go? <laughs> She's so large. <laughs> okay, so we have one more night expedition to do and then we're heading into that cave. 
Now, I'm trying not to spoil it things too much, but I know it was mentioned that there are onions in that cave, and that's one of the big reasons why I wanted to do that before I went to the final area. And I've heard that this cave, the Olimar cave, is like the hardest part of the whole game. Welcome back. At last, I can make the medicine. And it's all thanks to New Blood here. Well done. I'll have the medicine formulated by morning. Just you wait and see. That was a very generic message, but I appreciate it anyway. All right, so that cures two people. We got one more night expedition. And then it's into the cave we go. Right, administer the cure at once. We got Lappy from Kujio, a painter who joined the tour so he could paint these never before seen landscapes. Sadly, he left his art supplies behind. And Ren. A winner of a competitive cooking show, he was invited by the task force lead to join them and discover new flavor profiles. Cool. Rescuing everybody. Let's go see if these people have anything to say, and then we're on to the next night expedition. My name is Lappy. I'm delighted to be feeling the urge to paint again. There are so many unique individuals at this camp. I'm finding plenty of inspiration for new art pieces. As usual, I rushed out without my painting tools and my work. My work is still in my head, though, so I can always paint it again if I must. Well prepared. You! I owe you big time for saving me. Because for a second, I was like, is this how it ends? Is my journey over for good? Oh, I'm Ren, by the way. I'm the chef traveling with the research task force led by Chet. I don't consider myself a scientist. I'm a traveler on a journey to discover and embrace flavors heretofore unknown. You might be wondering why there is a chef in this research task force. All I can say is that making food is a science all its own, one that can benefit and motivate almost everyone. But honestly, the only reason I'm here is because Chet knew who I was and made an impassioned plea for me to join him. And as someone who's always exploring new cuisines, I thought another world would be a great place to experiment. It, it does make sense. You're going to an unknown planet. You want to make sure you have food. All right. Uh, I did have a mission to turn in. The flower guy, yeah? It's funny that the glow Pikmin qualify for this these missions here. Yeah, this is just an infinitely repeatable mission. Do I have the pluck whistle yet? Do I have enough material for the pluck whistle? I forget what was it. Was it over 200? 240? Okay. I'm short 80. Alright. One more night expedition. Go! The Abandoned Throne. My water bottle just splashed me in the face. Don't know how that even happens. I was I just was drinking. There we go. <laughs> I'm a dysfunctional human being. I can't even drink water normally. Okay, this one's allegedly harder, although the last one had two bulb laxes in it, so I don't know how much harder they can really get. How many luminoles do we got? One. So how is that even harder? Only one area to defend. Naturally is easy. Alright, I can just blast this guy right away. Oh! 
that makes it more dangerous. Big ass spider enemy. Oh, it's just going right over the wall too. Okay. Okay, so they're they're climbing. Ah, oh, crap! What is it? Oh, it's just the little leaf guys. That guy is big and intimidating, but he's also slow. I need more Pikmin if I want to take him out, because he's he is big and scary, but he's also like, I'll, I have time to deal with him. Although that time is, is quickly running out. I use my uh, my glow seeds. Probably gonna have to restart this day. Yeah. Ran out of time. Okay. I need to very quickly. So the all the other enemies are easy to kill. I can charge through them. The only enemy that requires glow Pikmin. Retry. The only enemy that requires glow Pikmin really is the spider. So I just need to very quickly build up my ranks and go around with Ochi taking out the little guys while I do. And then once I've got my army together, then I can take on the spider. Can I view the trick nulls at all on the map? Are they at all visible to me? I don't see any. Not kill my my Pikmin, please. Uh, 
I should go and defend the trick, the luminal. I think that there's probably enemies coming from the other direction. Welcome back. As you can see, there's a, a, a big ass spider that wants to hurt me and everything that I hold dear. I'm gonna try and take him out. Oh, he just took out a whole bunch. Oh, there are little guys here. Can I grab more of these glow seeds? Probably should. Down to a hundred flat. Should hopefully have enough glow Pikmin to take him out. Before he takes out the luminal. There we go. <laughs> Bam. I don't know if there's a faster way to do that, to take that guy out, but we got it. I'm impressed you defeated them all. I'm not. Okay, that should be the last night expedition. So with that cleared, we're on to uh, on to the cave of fun. I'm I'm very excited. I've only heard good things about it. <laughs> I've tried not to spoil much about it, and I think I've done a good job of that. I think I've just heard people say that it's hard. I haven't heard people really give me any specifics, which is good. I want to experience it. <laughs> I want the pain as natural of a of an exposure as I can be. Hurt me plenty. What game is that? That's a difficulty that you can have. The hurt me plenty difficulty. Hurt me plenty. Is that Doom? It is Doom. Nice. I used the 32 of my glow seeds, which is fine because I've I've never really used them before. So this is the exact same dialogue from the last one. They, they couldn't come up with a couple of new things, you know, like, oh, you completed the one with the with the spider. Congrats. That big old spider was scary. Hydrate. You got it. 